And that's the power of love. Wait, wrong song. <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Slop, and today we're taking a listen to another couple of Rush tracks from Counterparts. Uh, this should be part, what, four of uh, my Counterparts series. Uh, we are with the speed of love and double agent today so you all know the drill we're gonna take a listen to these tracks and then we're gonna get to these lyrics as well because you know you just can't ignore neil peart's uh, poetic uh artisan artisanship artisanry it's artisanry right what's the actual word for that <laughs> um expertise uh anyways all right, we're just going to jump right in to uh, The Speed of Love. So everybody put on your headphones and get ready for my first time reaction to The Speed of Love. Magnetic force Burning skin and fireworks A storm on a raging course Like a force of nature Love can fade with the stars at dawn Sometimes it takes all your strength Just to keep holding on Okay, so we have a very cool intro by Neil for this song. Uh, I really liked um, Alex's guitars for uh, the uh, the pre-chorus. Yeah, that was a really good um, guitar instrumentation. Uh, I liked the pre-chorus more than the actual chorus, I think. The chorus was a little slow, but, you know, we still have a lot of the song left to go, so let's finish it up. Okay, real quick. So this uh, solo and bridge portion, uh, the instrumentation was really helping make up for the uh, underwhelming chorus for me personally. Um, yeah, no, this uh, grooviness is much needed 
this is a good song. It's a good song. Um, I just wish the chorus wasn't so... It's like for the pre-chorus you build up and then for the chorus it just goes down a little bit into a calming kind of chorus. And it's very interesting, right? Um, it fits the song. It's fine, right? Um, it's a good song. Just... Um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to wait till uh, I, I finish the song and then finish the album to give my whole take on this one particular song, because honestly, um, this is this isn't the first time Rush has um, surprised me by having a powerful uh, bridge section that made up for a somewhat underwhelming uh, chorus. I feel like there's been a few tracks like this before, but uh, we're just going to continue for now. Fantastic outro, honestly. No, yeah, that bridge section and that outro really kind of brought the song up a tier for me. Took it to re-listenable, definitely. Uh, I won't be skipping this track when I listen to this album again. Um, yeah, this one was fun. Groovy bass, awesome guitar, Neil really just showing us uh, what he's capable of. Um, all throughout the song, yeah, this had a, a lot of cool little Neil parts. Especially that outro. That outro was really fun. Alright, so yeah, um, overall, a good song. Overall a good song. It's just that chorus. It's a little, just too calm for me. It's, uh... Alex's guitar, I think, is the, um... Is probably the main, uh, culprit. For me, um, just the way the guitar rings out into kind of a, a slow riff for the chorus. Um, I don't know, there's just something about it. But hey, I respect their choices. It's their song. Overall, it was great. Great song. All right, so we're going to move on to uh, Double Agent now. So uh, put on your headphones, everybody, or leave them on your head. Don't take them off just yet, because we have another song to listen to. On to track eight of Double Agent of counterparts where would you rather be anywhere anywhere but here when will the time be right anytime but now anywhere
Did they get Frank Zappa to be on this track? <laughs> what is going on? Oh. Okay, I'm I'm gonna guess that was Getty uh, doing a Frank impression. <laughs> okay, we're yeah we're gonna have to go back a little bit, and I kind of want to re-listen to that little part. All right, here we go. On the edge of sleep, I was drifting for half the night. And restless, pressed down by the darkness, bound up and wound up so tight. So tight. So many decisions, a million revisions, caught between darkness and light. Wilderness of mirrors, will abolish steel. What a wild song so far. I love. The instrumentation, that riff by Alex is just pretty hardcore. This song is wild. I, I just can't even uh, get a grip on it, really. Uh, let's go back just a little bit and finish the song up. Darkness 
Eyes and light. I have so many things to say about that track. So many, so many interesting choices they made. It feels like they're going back to their prog days. Like seriously, this is like a song that could have been off 2112, Caress of Steel, dude. This was such a crazy song. Like this is definitely the weirdest song on the album so far, even compared to Stick It Out. This one was all over the place. This definitely was a culmination of their entire discography into like one song. And they've done that a couple times in the last couple of um, albums, I believe. Definitely not going to skip that song. That song is like one of the all-time greats for me. Double Agent. Wow. What do the Rush fans, you know, classic Rush fans, what do the classic Rush fans think of that song? Double Agent. That song was fun. It was hard to keep track of the rhythm. That's why it's just like an older style. This song was just wild. They did not care what prompted them to make this song. Very, very interesting. I love it. Yeah, no, this is definitely another peak for them. This whole album, you know, surprises after surprises. Such a wide variety of sounds and genres on this one album too. Like, these two tracks that we just listened to, what a contrast, right? The Speed of Love and Double Agent. You couldn't get any more, like, different tracks. So weird. So weird. I loved it. Double Agent is great. It's a great song. Uh, we just have three more tracks to do. And also, I know that was Getty, right? That did the voice, right? It didn't sound exactly like Frank. It was just, I was just remarking on how a couple of Frank's songs, he's talked like this really close up to the microphone and you can hear everything he is saying yeah um that was a very interesting choice that's why i feel like this song was like one of their uh like prog songs like yeah back from 2112 caress of steel yeah this song was wild dude very fun very fun all right, so with that, we're just going to jump into these lyrics because I'm very interested. Uh, the speed of love is coming up right now. Love is born with lightning bolts, electromagnetic force, burning skin and fireworks, a storm on a raging course, like a force of nature. Love can fade with the stars at dawn. Sometimes it takes all your strength just to keep holding on. At the speed of love... A radiance that travels. At the speed of love, my heart goes out to you. Love is born with solar flares from two magnetic poles. It moves towards a higher plane where two halves make two holes. Like a force of nature, love shines in many forms. One night we are bathed in light, one day carried away in the storms. At the speed of love, a radiance that travels. At the speed of love, my heart goes out to you. At the speed of love, nothing changes faster, nothing changes, than the speed of love. My heart goes out to you. We don't have to talk, we don't even have to touch. I can feel your presence in the silence that we share. Got to keep moving at the speed of love. Nothing changes faster than the speed of love. Got to keep on shining at the speed of love. At the speed of love, a radiance that travels at the speed of love, my heart goes out to you. And it kind of just repeats until the end of the song. So yeah, I think the song is very uh, self-explanatory. This is a love song to probably Neil's wife. You know, I'm just going to have to say that using a lot of uh, nature metaphors and uh, to, uh, you know, tie these real emotions, these material feelings. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is definitely Neil writing this song. Uh, you can just tell. Um, it's, it's a great uh, poem. It's a great use of uh, words. Uh, yeah. One of, uh, one of Neil's uh, greater 
more simple uh, poetic songs that, you know, can be a very, uh, um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? You can use this. Anybody can use this song, dude. Meaning like it, uh, it, it applies, it applies to a lot of people. You can easily apply it to your life. Uh, anyways, uh, what do you think of this song? You know, I'm probably going to get like some mixed, uh, comments on this song in particular. I feel like, uh, a lot of people might have the same thought I do of the chorus, but you know, who knows? Uh, let's see what you think in the comments, please. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to, uh, what was the next? A song, a double agent, right? All right, so Rush, double agent, lyrics, Rush. Where would you rather be? Anywhere but here. When will the time be right? Any time but now. On the edge of sleep, I was drifting for half the night. Anxious and restless, pressed down by the darkness. Bound up and wound up so tight. So tight. So many decisions, a million revisions, caught between darkness and light. Wilderness of mirrors, world of polished steel, gears and iron chains turning the grinding wheel. I run between the shadows. Some are phantoms, some are real. Where would you rather be? Anywhere but here. When will the time be right? Any time but now. Where would you rather be? The doubt and the fear I know would all disappear Anywhere but here Anywhere but here On the edge of sleep I heard voices behind the door The known and the nameless Familiar and faceless My angels and my demons at war Is this Neil going through some like sleep paralysis or something dude? Which one will lose depends on what I choose, or maybe which voice I ignore. Wilderness of mirrors, streets of cold desire, my precious sense of honor, just a shield of rusty wire. I hold against the chaos and the cross of holy fire. Wilderness of mirrors, so easy to deceive, my precious sense of rightness is sometimes so naive. So that which I imagine is that which I believe. On the edge of sleep, I awoke to a sun so bright, rested and fearless, cheered by your nearness. I knew which direction was right, was right. The case had been tried by the jury inside, the choice between darkness and light, the choice between darkness and light. Okay, so I think this is... Uh, Neil remarking on the fact that there might be another like person within themselves like you know the counterparts dude it's all coming together dude counterparts dude I did not even like apply the whole theme of being a counterpart to the last like song dude I what <laughs> So this is very interesting. So is this song about like the duality of morality? Like, you know, you can choose being a good person or being bad, dude. It's probably not that simple, right? But I know Neil is struggling with something here. What do you have to say? You know, what, what do you think this song is about? I feel like I'm close, right? I feel like I'm pretty close, but damn, this is such such like a 70s prog fantasy type song right like it's almost like dystopian feeling just wow uh great song great song favorite song of the album so far right next to stick it out actually i'm gonna have to hold on to that thought i might have to listen to stick it out and double agent back to back to see which one i like more chances are it's gonna be stick it out just because it just keeps the same upbeat energy throughout the whole song Whereas Double Agent, you know, it kind of flips and flops, dude. Has some calm moments, has some energetic moments. It's very enjoyable still, very weird, which I love. So it gets bonus points for being weird. I was not expecting a weird 
song to be on this album. That is uh, very refreshing, and I'm sure lots of Rush fans love it, dude. I'm hoping we get more Weird Rush coming up, dude. Either in future songs. We only have three songs left for this album. Um, Leave That Thing Alone. Is that a sequel to Where's My Thing? From the last album? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Cold Fire and Everyday Glory. So I hope everybody's really excited. I'm really excited to get into it. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for sticking around, everybody. Oh, I got to give a shout out to the gold tier patrons. Uh, so far, we have Adam Sanford, Gary Milstead, HRH King Lurks, Joseph Wilger, Onyxia, Peter K, Tammy Curtis, Dylan Stock, Chuck Dye, Jim Tatro, Mark Gedemeyer, Thomas Whiteoff, Dirk, Robert D. Hassinger, Brett King, and Kip Staley. Thank you all very much. And we have the rest of the patrons here on the screen. Thank you all so very much. Really appreciate every single one of you. Couldn't do this without you. Uh, seriously, everybody um, on the Patreon crew, helping me move forward. So... And if you want to become part of the Patreon crew, go on over to patreon.com slash johnslop and you can get early access to my YouTube videos and you can also submit requests for me to listen to. So uh, make sure to give this video a like and a subscribe if you want to see more from this channel. And uh, stay, stick around, stick it out for the rest of the album as we go through these last three songs on this one. And then we move on to the next Rush album, which I am not sure which one is coming up next. Uh, all right, so thanks everybody. Really appreciate you. Um, thanks. I will talk to y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>